Right, I had to order the new part from a place, you can see there, called uh, Karatek. You can see there, and that's how much it was. £31.99, £32. That's the type it was. Tried all the local shops and uh, they didn't have one in. This ordered this on, well, on eBay Saturday, it's now Wednesday. So before I'm going to fit it, it's, uh, there's the old one, looks a bit like it's been hot, cold, hot, cold. This is brand new. I'm just going to show you on the um, multimeter what readings we get. All right, multimeter set at uh, 200 ohms, got a reading of 0.2. That just shows you the new one. I'll just show you on uh, the old one what reading it is. To I've said before, point 0.1 hasn't even moved. I'll just take it out. See, that's disconnected now. It's still point 0.1, showing that uh, there's no resistance in there. It's just, well, I think they'll call it an open circuit. So I'm just going to fit the new one now. Show you later on. Oh. Right, I've put the new the new the heating element, the mains one, which is this inside one. Blue one is the 12 volts, the mains one is the two black wires and yellow. I'll just thread the wires through. Use some electrical ties to keep the wires in place. Put it back in the control box. What I'm going to do next is put the insulation around the chimney and then we'll be ready to put it back in the hole. Alright, chimney's back on. Quite straightforward. Don't forget the screw at the bottom. You just click around the back. Put some tabs. Make sure the chimney's clear. You use it on gas. So all needs to be done now is slot it back in the hole. Right, I was just showing the fridge back in, a city by my son, and just at the very start underneath there's um, some black pins, so what I did, I shoved a block of wood under the front of the fridge, and then tilted, tilted the fridge back that way towards me, so it tilted like that, which allowed the black pins to slide forward. I'll just put a bit more wood across sliding it in, it just take the time. Right, this is back in now, just shoved it back in. Just going to wire it up now, connect the gas, electrics, and I'll show you a test for the gas. Alright then, so I've got some soapy water, because what I'm going to do next is tighten this gas connection up. Just put, all you need to do is just put some soap round here, soapy water. And then you'll be able to tell if it's leaking or not. Now then, is that a leak? I don't think so. I'm putting quite a lot on there. I don't see anything bubbling. Because that would just be bubbling away if that was leaking. Right then, check the gas and that. I've plugged it in. 
on the mains. So we'll turn it on. Let's see what happens. See that's here. Let it creak. Seems all right. What I'm going to do is to turn it onto the gas. That's what I want it to do is um, let the gas go on, so I can hear it. That's on now, gas is on. I'm going to let it run on the gas for a bit. Go around the side of the caravan, check that gas connection again. So if we're quiet, we'll, be, well, other than the cars going by outside, you should be able to hear the gas. So it's quite noisy on these things. So that's the gas running. I'll just go around the front and check the gas again. The, so uh, finally, it. there's the, it's on the gas. Press that, that's on mains electric now. Nope, that's pretty awful. And then what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll just leave that now. Leave it overnight. See if it works. And that's it. So. Heating element changed.